Good morning, you guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Thanksgiving. Yay! Praise God. We don't really celebrate Thanksgiving, y'all know that. We usually celebrate it in remembrance of my dad. So it's usually like a memorial for my late dad. Um, we was gonna go to my sister's in Atlanta and some ex unexpected things came up. So we are spending Thanksgiving here. This is our first Thanksgiving memorial for my dad here in our new house. So that's gonna be exciting, I believe. I believe that God does things for a reason. He does things, everything is orchestrated by God. And I'm so excited to be cooking. I am so hungry. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this party started. Thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. Then I have my chunk pork, uh, my chunk pot roast. I'm gonna go ahead and um, sear that on both sides, get that nice and brown, and then I'm gonna throw it into my slow cooker. It is about 10 o'clock right now in the morning. I want to eat dinner about like five, maybe six o'clock tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that slow cook for um, several hours, and I'm gonna put that on high because I want it to cook about four or five hours on high. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, get my neck bones clean, and then um, start boiling here. Um, and that's it, you guys. I am gonna do some hair in between there, start the girl's hair. Um, and we're just gonna chill, it's just us. Um, but you know, it's a lot of us. We have a whole family of nine, so it's a lot of us. So we're gonna just get started in doing that. I hope that everyone is well. I pray that you are spending this time with your loved ones, you know? I know that when the holidays come, it's raining outside. I know that when the holiday season come, um, many of us grieve, right? We grieve the people that we're not with. We grieve the people who are not with us at anymore on this side of earth, you know? Um, we grieve different things and different emotions, and I just pray that where you are right now in your life, I pray that you are well. I pray that the peace of God will be upon you. Um, God's peace is so welcoming and he gives it freely to those who will just accept it. Just accept God's peace. So it is my prayer for you um, that you just receive it. Receive joy wherever you are, regardless of the circumstances. Trust me, I am, you know, I'm still grieving my father. This is year three and I'm still grieving my dad. Um, it was an unexpected uh, loss. We didn't realize that he was going to go home to glory when he did, you know. But I thank God for the time that I was able to spend with him, the, the, the 30 years that I was able to spend with him. I thank God for my, for my father. I thank God for blessing us with him because he was such a joy. I thank God that I, I don't have daddy issues because my father was so present. Hey, baby. Good, how are you? Mm -hmm. You say happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Yay. Happy giving thanks to the Lord. For Jesus. he is good. I don't know the song. Sing yes, it. he is good. Sing it. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. For he is good. good. Yes, he is good. good. Oh, give thanks, thanks. unto the Lord. Lord. She's, okay, she's over here. She's yeah, I love it. But Layla's over here pushing. Like, can you get this woman off of my dad? Uh, Layla, you singing? We're gonna go get haircuts and oil changes and all that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love you. Thank you so much. Guys are gonna be leaving out. The boys are gonna be leaving out with daddy to go get haircuts and oil change. Uh, girls are gonna be here cooking and doing hair. Um, yeah. Lisa, you about to get started on some washing hair? At least them get started. Before she gets started washing hair in this kitchen, I'm going to get my meat on, y'all. I'm going to get my meat clean, get my meat on, um, because you know. How are you feeling? You can say hi to people. Come say hi, say Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. We can't hear you. Happy Thanksgiving. We still can't hear you. Of course, that's Libby over there, you guys, saying that she can't hear Libby. Uh, Happy Thanksgiving! Yay! I'm not yelling like that. Can you bring me? Can you bring me? Yeah, you can bring it, but I just trying to figure out why you just rubbed all against that. Please. No, that wasn't me. That was awesome. He made all his hands. Awesome. Please don't do that. Just bang on that. Austin, he just banged on his picture over here. Don't do that, Austin, okay? He paid me. 
zero minds. Mm -hmm. Like, he said, okay. Sure. He didn't even say okay. He didn't even look my way. All right, guys, let's get started. Can you clean that sink up? I'm just going to get this stuff on the broil. Oh, okay. Before you do this here, please comb it out first. Yeah, I know. So before you add water, so you got to comb it out. Yeah. If you add water while I'm brushing it out, it's going to get all tangly right. in water. Right, it's going to get all tangly in water. And be terrible. And get naughty. Thank you. Let me get a little vinegar for this pork, please. That's why it tastes so good to get any vinegar. No, vinegar kills most of the bacteria. Oh. You want to do like cold water with the pork. You want to do like a warm, like lukewarm. Some vinegar on that. Thank you, ma'am. Let's go. That's what we're doing. Cleaning our meat real quick. You know, it's so funny because you can clean all the meat you want, but I'm just going to be honest. When the meat goes into the hot water and it, it gets cooked, yeah, it gets clean anyway. The bacteria is killed once the heat and the temperature is cooking, you know. So. I was telling Lisa about meat, right? We watch, I watch this thing. Did you guys ever watch this documentary? It's called What the Health? Okay, when I tell you, Antoine and I watched it in 20... 18 right after i had austin we watched it and when i tell you that we went vegetarian slash vegan we wasn't fully vegan but we went vegetarian for about three months as a family what the health is such a great documentary but it's scary the information that you find out you find out how they are doing the animals first and foremost then you're finding out what they're doing when they're trying to to get the meat from the animal and how they're using all kinds of dyes and stuff like that to preserve the meat. So when we see the meat, the meat is coming to the store fully brown, you know, and they are literally adding food dye, color dye, to the meat. So we look at it and we say, oh, this meat is nice and red, it looks well, good, let's get it. Out of but I don't even want to get there because I, then we're not going to eat this meat if we talk about it in depth. But y'all watch the documentary. It should be like everywhere. Prime. You probably can watch it on Netflix. YouTube. Uh, we probably watch it on YouTube. Y'all. It's scary. But I was telling the kids because we would literally buy meat and within like 12 hours of buying meat, the meat is brown. And the kids are like, we just bought this meat. And I'm just like, unfortunately, the meat is already brown. They're just adding food dye to it to make it look so much redder but what you gonna do about it not eat it or what you gonna do you know what I mean so it, it is what it is all right so I just cleaned off my meat yes I left it in this container that's okay I'm gonna get I didn't want to do the glass container for what I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my pot so that I can just get these start going and boiling up can I, uh, Just clean it off. Huh? Can I cut off the skin Right here. I can do that. Yeah, you can do that. So I got my neck bones in here. I'm going to start seasoning it up. I'm using some Creole seasoning. Slap your mama seasoning. I'm going to use some adobo. Adobo got a little mix of everything. That's why I love adobo. Say what y'all want to say about adobo. Paprika. Got some pepper, a little bit of rosemary. And now I'm going to use a lot of these seasonings on my stuff over here for my pot roast. Garlic, garlic, some thyme, some thyme, y'all. Red pepper. Y'all, these are my gold knives. I don't ever use my gold knives. They're literally just for decoration, but I'm using them today because it's a special occasion. Layla, ooh, Layla, ooh, thank you, Layla. Oh, you're so helpful. Thank you, Layla. Thank you, Layla. Ooh, that onion is burning my eye already, y'all. Riggedy strong. 
My aunt used to always teach me. She's like, listen, the onion start burning your eye, put it under water. So put it under some water. Ooh. I like my netphones to get a little brown before I start boiling them. Just to give it that nice brown in color. So those knives are not any better than my old knives. I'm gonna go ahead and start slicing my celery up. Layla, please stop it. Well, I'm telling. Put her in her high chair. Where's the high chair? Lisa just asked me, do you guys like lamb yams with marshmallow on them? It's a no for me. Do you like them? It's a no for me. And I think, because I've never made it with marshmallow, but we went to restaurants where they had it with marshmallow. Oh, my roast is on. Roast is on the way, so we're trying to eat it. Next one's out at 4 o'clock on collard greens. I mean, then I add the potatoes and stuff to the roast. Um, oh, yeah, I'm about to cut that down. Rose is over here taking out Leah's hair so I can get braided. Lisa already detangled it, so she's about to wash it real quick so I can start braiding. I put some banana in here. Banana. Put in here, and she gets to eat it. <laughs> you don't like to taste? 
Like, I don't know about that. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do it taste good? Maybe. Maybe. Lisa's over here getting to it. Blow drying here so I can get ready to braid it. Girls on the tablets. Because she talked about the turpin and she said, You don't, she said, that's why their their sweet, their stuff is watery. She said, When you peel, she, my mother told me, she was like, When you boil your potatoes with the skin off, all of that water seeps through the potato. Whereas you boil it with the skin on, the skin is the barrier. So, right now, look at all this water in my potatoes. So, what do you have to do? Right now, add my eggs. Yeah, eggs. Need that something? My mother said that. Yeah, give it to eggs. That's what she said. Yeah, I'm not happy. Sugar, not happy. I remember when we had a competition, they were talking about my pie. The regular situation. Right. I was like, uh uh, yours is too light. I'm trying to keep that in the floor. Yeah, mine's gonna be a little dark. Don't do that. If you wanna lick it, don't do the stupid stuff, okay? Please don't do that. I like using the graham cracker crust instead of the like the dough. I don't like the dough. Yeah, I don't like the apple. I don't know. What do you got for? Yeah. Graham cracker crust. This is about a nine inch. This is be a nine inch. No, this is a ten inch. Ten inch. You even get the small one. This is a pretty big one. Oh really? Yeah. They didn't have the Walmart brand. They did. They had a pecan. Really? That would have been good. No. So you guys can see what it look like. Mm. Neck bones look good. This is our roast in here. I added some potatoes to that, y'all. Okay. Neck bones after two hours of cooking. This was fresh neck bones, y'all. Look at that. Coming off the bone, y'all. I got this on low. It's cooking on <clears throat> like a four right now and i'm gonna let it cook down for about another hour maybe two hours before i add my collard greens in there so i'm gonna let my collard greens soak for about 40 minutes 
some baking soda and vinegar but y'all look at these look at these neck bones oh my lord thank you lord thank you lord Big salt in there. And walk around and go get it. I have put my 
my steaks in here. My steaks was cooking faster than that, remember? Mm-hmm. So it's been an hour and a half with the Yeah, it's been an hour and a half. I'm not two hours and a half. And it got left. I had it on for three hours. I put that in there at 1140. That's too long. It's not cooking, you know? It's only making the outside. Because you tried it right It's tough. It's tough. It's okay. I don't have a, I don't put that thing right on the stove. Mm -hmm. It's not to put it on the stove. Crock yeah. pot is full. It can cook all day. You ain't got to worry about the stove burning. That's why they developed that. It's like a little stove, you know? Mm -hmm. There. Once it's you time it, you turn then it turns off. It won't burn out. You know what I mean? It's a slow cooker. It won't burn out. You put that thing on the stove. You go to the store. You go around the corner. That whole stove can burn your house down. You understand know what I mean? It doesn't sense the timer. You can't put a timer on that stove. You understand know what I mean? You can put a timer on that and it'll shut off. You understand? So that's why that is a good thing. You know, it's good for people who go to work, who need to go outside, and you put the timer on. That that's too long. That's too long. So, uh, uh, crock pots, you don't really need it if you're in the house. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Slow cooker is, okay, I'm going to put my food on. So, when I come home from dinner, when I come home at night from work and I got the kids, the, my dinner will be done. You know? So, maybe you probably put it in the crock pot because you decided, oh, I'm going to be doing the girl's hair. So, let's just put that there. Yeah. You don't really need the crap power in home. Yeah. When it's time to eat, it's time to eat. I don't know if you're going to eat. Over here, like. Right, like. With the food. We can't eat my stuff because my stuff's going to be long. Hmm? Crock pot takes too long, y'all. And I'm trying to eat. It's been on for three hours and it's still hard as a rock. Look at it. Mm -hmm. I'm in public, my guy. Hello? Yeah. You got him? What's up, man? Dixie, though. That's good. Ain't nobody yeah. going to win. That's because ain't nobody going to win, Dixie. <laughs> I went to win. I was like, there's two of them here. Let me get them. Yeah, you can get them. Go ahead, get that, babe. You switch that over or something? Yes, ma'am. Be careful. Yeah, I know, because it's hot. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, ma'am. We're going to wait for that to cool down. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We're going to wait for that to cool down before we wash that. Put the top off on it. Put it on the stove. Let the stove be in the it. it. Smell good, though, don't it? Mm -hmm. When do you think birthday tomorrow? 26. Mm -hmm. Okay. 10. Yeah, it's on the Hey, Yeah, I didn't even know you had the window open. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was a little foggy in here. Smells good. good. Yeah, I think you smelled it out there. Uh-huh. So, we went to win Dixie. And they was 11.22 for the smoke. So, it was pork. So, I was like, I'm going to take those back because they had fire. With the public, they expired. Today's 11 22, they've done today. So, of course, so you don't know if that means a couple days. Uh, so, I got some next bottle. What's in the public? How much? $7.99. $7.99. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Bottles and refrigerator. I'm not going to start it with the boys that need. All right.
right, I said I wanted to be cooking by six o'clock and I'm, I wanted to be eating by six o'clock. I'm still cooking by six o'clock. Um, but that's okay because it's still Wednesday, so that's okay. But I wanted to have my dinner tonight, all right? Um, I took my pot oh, roast out of my crock pot because it was taking forever, even though it was cooking on uh, high. It was taking forever, but I got it in here. I want y'all to see how it's looking real quick. Come, 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 come see how it's looking, y'all. Do y'all see how it's looking? Yes, honey. That's the pot roast, okay? I put some potatoes. It's looking really, really good in there, y'all. Uh, let, let me let me show y'all because my hands is full right now. So let me show y'all because I want to I want y'all to know that this thing is coming. Like it's you see how tender that is, y'all. That thing is tender, okay? I just want to show y'all that. Collard greens are back there. Like with the collard collards, okay? Collards is doing good. That's gonna be my rice pan in a minute. I got my smoked turkey neck bones back here because I want that smoke, y'all. Y'all know I originally started off with regular fresh neck bones, which I, I should have did because I love the smoke taste and my neck bones wasn't giving me the smoke taste. So I got the smoke ones back there cooking. I'm gonna let that cook and then I'll put it in my greens later. That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and start this roux for my macaroni and cheese. So let's get started with that. So I'm gonna go ahead, cause this is hot right here. So I got my oil in here, I'm gonna pull it to the side real quick. I got some flour, I got about maybe three tablespoons of flour, okay, in this right here. Let it be light. So I got three tablespoons and I use heavy cream as well, okay? Let me get close. Three tablespoons. And I'm not a pro, but I'm a pro up in this house, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and add my heavy cream to my to my flour. You can use cornstarch. I'm using flour, okay? Sometimes I use cornstarch, sometimes I use flour. Use what you got. The point of it is just to make your roux, okay? Because and this is going to be for my cheese sauce, okay? So I'm just stirring, 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 trying to make sure all of the corners and sides down there is not having any flour so i'm just mixing that flour in with this heavy cream um if you don't have heavy cream you can use milk again i'm using what i have um i probably could have went less with my flour since i'm using heavy cream and not just milk but we're gonna make it do what it do okay so y'all ready i'm about to put it in now i got oil in the back bottom of my pan there's some hair in there too so let me get that hair out there Oh, Austin, come from over there, Sonny. Come from over there. Come from over there.
Hey guys, so here we got the pot roast, the cornbread, the mac and cheese, the yams, the rice, and the collard greens, and what else? Yes, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I'll tell you one thing, after we're we done eating, we, do, we are not going to clean. No, I, I we'll do it tomorrow, guys. Uh, it's the moment of truth, y'all. What do you mean, seconds, thirds? <laughs> okay, all right, all right now. Okay. That's mad macaroni too. That's mad macaroni. Who next? Me. Alfred, Louis, me. Cabot and peace. Uh, okay. Who's getting this? Come on, Antoine. That's living. Living. Don't matter. Yo, stop playing. Y'all won't I get nobody. Nobody ain't getting no end pieces. Nobody ain't getting no more end pieces. Right. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. Oh, you're gonna call the rice? No, I'll uh, rice, please. Collard greens? Yes. More? Yes, please. Good? Yes. You want yams? Yes. Good news. The crispy part, too. She said. Yeah, I see. Macaroni. You got macaroni and cheese. Rose? Be uh, snogging Yes. Answer the phone for mommy. Mommy gonna try to talk junk. Yeah. I know how right there over there. Hey, Grandma. Thank you, Mommy. Love you, too. 
sit down. You want the roast over your rice? Huh? Roast over your rice? Collard greens. That's a lot of food. I got a lot of food in that plate. Okay, give me one second because I ain't got, I need another one. Can I touch her? Like, um, other one. Other one? Oh, no. Okay, is it mom? Good, how are you? Hey. Hey. Huh? Uh, uh. Good, you want cornbread? Oh, yes. It's good, Mom. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. Good. Things are up. Food is good? Okay, eat your food and I'll give you more, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, you getting some cornbread? Yes, please. Oh, what? Can I get Can I see the phone? Eat your food and then I'll go ahead. You want rice? Yes, I look like everything does. Okay, you want rice on uh, meat on top of your rice, Antoine? Oh, uh, yes, please. Yay! I got more rice. Okay, eat that first and then you can get more. I have the collagen on the side and I have the pot, pot roast on, on top of my jacket. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Grandma, what y'all cook? Well, tomorrow. She ain't cooked yet. Bye bye. Wow. Bye bye. 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 Is that everything? No, you need some yams? We don't like stuffing. Right. Give me a I can have that little You ain't getting no pussy. Who's next? Who I can barely drag my foot. I don't like any yams. Or she rice. ain't talking to us. She said, why they look burnt on the top? Who? Ma, I know you ain't in competition with Mom. me. No rice? No rice or no yams. Okay. How you in competition with me? You can't even get in the club. Like. You can't even get in the club. Mama, we like them crispy. Mama, that's that's what we like. We like the crispiness. I don't understand. She in competition with me. She ain't even here. Captain, I don't understand. Mama, 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 cut it out.